Alright guys, in this video we're going to be demonstrating to you um, how to restore a Cisco 7941 but uh, the same process should work with other models. This is just an example on a 7941. Um, got this phone today and it's been stuck in a boot loop. Um, I was able to restore a bunch of them but I got about 10 or 20 of them that are stuck in this boot loop that this is all you see. Uh, it keeps doing this over and over and over again. I'm going to turn it off so you can see. And I'm going to try to edit this video to make it a little bit shorter. Uh, so that way we are not waiting for all this boot up time. And uh, so you're going to see that it takes a little while for it to boot up. And I'm going to do a factory reset so you guys can see that it still is not going to do anything. So we'll do a factory reset. Okay, so it's going to go through its process. Um, currently, it's hooked up to my other network that... Um, uh, let me see if I can adjust that video. Okay, so currently it's attached to my other network that... I was able to upgrade a bunch of phones, but like I said, these were stuck in a boot loop, and um, I was not able to update them at all. Um, about uh, 20 or 30 of the other phones updated to the latest SIP firmware. Um, so this one, it just does that, it just keeps doing it over and over. And so I'm going to let it go through one process so you guys see what it's doing. Even though everything is set up correctly on my end, because I already know that um, a lot of the phones already upgraded uh, with the same settings, it leads me to believe there's something particular with this particular phone here. So, like I said, um, we're going to try to edit this video um, while it does that, but that's all you'll see that it does. It'll... Um, It'll just sit there. We'll let it. We'll let it go through one phase, so you guys see what mine is doing. And I'm pretty sure if you're looking at this video, um, yours is going to be doing the same thing. Um, for now, um, you'll it'll just do that. It'll just, in a minute, it'll do just, it'll completely reset itself. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did on my end. And um, I'm going to try to show you some settings. So excuse me while I, ch I move the uh, camera here. And so you guys can see my settings. Um, here are going to be some settings that I'm going to try to make it as clean as possible. Um, here, um, what basically what I'm doing here is I'm putting an older firmware and I'm going to be converting it back to um, the Skinny protocol. Uh, that just happens to be um, I'm going to clear that so it doesn't uh, affect anything. Um, so as long as these files um, are in your directory that you're going to be putting there in the TFTP server, um, then it's going to pick up those settings, right? So um, we'll show you what it's going to do. And I am going to put back um, this so you can see what it's doing. Okay. Let me move this a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this cable from my other network. And I'm going to plug it in to my other network. And um, so you're going to see what it's going to start to do in a minute. Um, right now it's already reset it. It's the same phone. All I did was I switched it from one network to another network and um, with those settings that you saw earlier it's going to do its boot up and you're going to see um, something very interesting and now I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit 
give you a better idea on what it's doing. Um, so now you see that it's picking up the um, the proper file. So I'm gonna try to give you an idea here on my screen. It's sending that file to the phone, right? So it's, it saw that phone, you see that? It's sending all the files that it needs. Now the phone, it's gonna start upgrading. Every single little thing that it's doing, it's gonna start upgrading. The only difference between this and the other one is that this one, I'm using an older skinny protocol uh, TFTP program to push it there. And now what it's gonna do is, it's just gonna keep updating and updating. And let me see if I can make this a little bit better for you guys. Um, and it will just go through this process. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pause this video and um, I'm gonna wait till it finishes, and then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. So right now, the video, um, the phone went through its all the updating, all those process. So I'm showing you a little bit um, after it finished updating all those files, what it's gonna do. It's gonna um, basically bypass the uh, setup, and it's gonna start booting up the actual uh, Cisco Skinny protocol. Um, I'm gonna pause it for a second. So um, I'm resuming the video after it completely um, rebooted. Um, now you'll see that it's gonna start booting up the uh, Skinny protocol. But as you guys know, this is not what we want. We don't want the Skinny protocol, but at least we took it out of the uh, uh, boot loop that I was doing. So I'm gonna pause it we're gonna make some changes, so now we're gonna be able to put in the newest, latest SIP firmware. So I'm gonna pause the video. All right, guys. So I'm gonna reset the phone. All right, I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on again. And um, we're gonna do a factory reset. Right now, that is completely off the boot loop. It has this skinny protocol. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and factory reset it again. It uh, takes a little while, so bear with me. Okay, so I did that factory reset. So now what we did here, right? I'm gonna show you here that we now are having the uh, different protocol. Oh, excuse me, I got the wrong one. Let me pause it for a second. All right, so I'm resuming the video. Now you can see the correct firmware uh, version that I'm installing. Uh, currently, I'm installing, I believe that's the latest one. Um, don't remember at the top of my head at the moment. Uh, but as you can see, the phone is booting up. Now it's going to give the files. Now you see the file being transferred right to the phone. And I'm going to show you here what it's doing. And as you can see, now it's grabbing all the necessary files for the latest SIP firm, firmware. Um, so that's very important that it's doing that. So I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna let it go through the whole entire process. And once it's finishing, completely doing everything, um, I'm gonna show you a big difference. All right, the phone has uh, rebooted to the um, uh, SIP firmware, but there's two steps. I'm gonna show you something very important. You're gonna press your settings button and minimize that settings and six number three if you see term 41 there there's something wrong um basically mine because i have the proper uh, files it's going to reboot again and it's going to start seeing you should see uh the actual zip file name there um, I'm going to give you that right there. Give me. 
if you don't see that SIP.41 being upgraded a second time, you're basically only doing the first part. There's two parts to upgrading the 7941, 42, 61, 62s, 45s, and all of those. The only one is the one process, one step is the 7940 and the 7960. These do require a second step. So it's going to load additional files, right? This is the second time. This is not the first time. So I'm going to let it pause. I'm going to pause the video while it loads up the secondary set of files. Just a quick idea, right? It's loaded all the files. You see the little check mark. It's updating every single one of them. Once it finishes up doing the little check mark, it's going to reboot. So the phone has rebooted again after the initial uh, set of the secondary uh, uh, files. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of different things. Don't worry about this date and time. I uh, you can configure that in the uh, in the XML file. Um, for now, I'm going to show you something very important. You're going to press settings again. You're going to press number six. Um, then you're going to press the number three, firmware version. Um, you see there that it says turn 41 default. There's a problem with this particular one. It, oh, I'm sorry. You see that it changed? Now that it says SIP.41, now that is what you want to see. Once that it's said, now this phone is completely converted to a SIP firmware. And that's the latest firmware that you see there that I have updated. So now I can use it with my free PBX, Trixbox, PBX in the Flash, whatever you want to use it with. Now you're going to be able to use it. So that's how you take a phone out of boot loop. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment or I'm going to put my contact info on the video as well.